Hi everyone, this is Shadow 33 with another Acorn game on Overgrown Citadel between Trillian Eyes playing Greckham and Shelka playing Greckham, another Greckham mirror. So, this is a bit of a smaller map, about half the size of, actually, almost a quarter of the size of the last map, and it's got only a few expansions. Expansion in the bottom and top, sort of the major, major natural expansion. It's a safer natural expansion with less Q plasma in the top right and bottom left. And there's some cube plasma in the center, and that's it. It's a very small map, very kind of mid-econ mid -econ map, and we'll see how the players deal with that. So it looks like looks like I'm just going back to further in the past, make sure that I don't miss anything. That looks like Shalka is acting a bit further in the past than Trillian is, and now they've both gone back. So at this point, it looks like both players are probably going to be going for an economic build. It's hard to tell. It looks yeah. So Trillian are. Trillian Eyes has gotten her Octo set out here, and Shalka is also setting up Octos. So they're all setting up Octos, though one of Shalka's Octos is actually going to his bottom expansion. So at this point, it's, it's a fairly economic game, fairly slow, not the Grep and Rush games that some of you see. So at this point, it's going to be, like I said, purely economy. So, Shalka seems to be changing the... Oh, actually, you know what? No. Uh, it looks like Shalka's actually... He was going for economy originally, but now he seems to be going either for a rush or just for a securing of this top expansion here, or this ramp. Kind of interesting strategy. Let's see how that plays out. And it looks like Trillian Eyes has continued going for economy, although at this point she's probably building the Octo to complete the triad so she can build all base class units. Well, at this point, yeah, like I said, so, Shalka is securing this area he's set up, so he has his resource processors in his safe natural, built nicely here, because otherwise it's a bit harder to get it from the main base to that natural, just the curve around the ramp sometimes causes issues, and it's just a bit slower, a bit longer, and this way he can build units quickly to defend, and his faro has gone away, so he's built a few units just to secure that, and now he's probably going to secure his major natural at the top, or the expansion at the top, so he's going for a very, very broad economic build, high expansion build, very interesting. Trillian is going to have a lot of targets, but she's also going to have to deal with this very quickly because this much economy, it's open to pressure, but once it gets going, it gets going. So it's true for any RTS game, especially true for Acron, though. Well, especially true in that now he's, well, okay, it's true for any RTS game. So looks like Trillian is trying to send Seppi out to scout, apparently. Hard to tell exactly though. It looks like, see, it's, yeah, scouting. He's going out to scout, trying to see what's inside, and she'll see that he's got nothing in his base. It'll look kind of weird. So, Shaka, like I said, going for a rather broad expansion, building up this progen triad right next to, or is that just, yeah, it's a Seppi and uh, Faro progen triad, so he hasn't got an Octo in it yet. He's building his progen triad by the north base, while Trillian Eyes goes here with Seppi to try to scout out, try to see what you can see, but she won't be seeing much. And it looks like they're both actually going further back and past the two of the both up to now. So yeah, not much different so far between the two, but it looks like... Yeah, it looks like they haven't changed much. They're just trying to go back and make sure that neither player is getting the upper hand. Actually, it looks like Trillian is actually building up some Octopods. So he's getting a better offensive force. She hasn't scouted out yet what's going on, I don't think. Hard to tell. I don't think she's seen that the main base is empty and that Shalka's forces are elsewhere. That's hard to tell. Okay, now she sees that the main base is empty. Or at least you can't see any progen triads in the main base yet. You'll probably be suspecting that the progen triads are somewhere else, because of course you wouldn't have just killed off his own units. So she's probably suspecting that. I'm guessing she'll be going back at some point to address that, trying to make sure that she doesn't have like, trying to make sure she doesn't have to deal with progen triads somewhere else, try to deal with massive economy builds. So at this point she doesn't seem to be going for an economy counter though, but she also doesn't seem to be going for an assault. Let's see though, she's going further back in the past. Looks like Oh, looks like there's an Octo coming up closer, so at this point, Shalka is pushing ahead a bit, trying to deal some damage with an Octo, or at least trying to secure an area, make sure that nothing's going through, scout out. I'm sure he's seen the Seppi now, so he knows that's coming, but, or knows that came to scout out. At this point, it looks like, oh yeah, it looks like Trillian is actually sending out Octos to what is effectively turned into Shalka's near main. So she'll probably, she'll see it very quickly then. And it looks like the Octopod's going to secure it, so actually she probably does already know that that main has been taken, or that 
expansion has been taken as basically the main, and the original main is not really being used that much. At this point, though, it looks like Shalka is continuing to build up building expansions every or building resource processors everywhere around the map. Really good idea. Gets a lot of map control, makes sure he knows exactly what's going on, and also gets him a few resources in the meantime. So at this point, Trillianus is coming in trying to take over, but I think, unless these are all pro-generators, no, these are all Octopods and Sparrows, this is not going to go well for Trillianus. So Rocks are coming in, they're going to try to get some damage in, but they're not going to last very long. They're going to get rid of the Sparrow, though. It's good, good shot. So the Sparrow is gone, but the Octopods are still going to be able to get through. They get rid of the Octo. There's one Octo left, trying to get rid of one of the pro-generating, trying to get rid of one of the Octopods. The Octopods are going to make short work of them. The Octopods are now fighting, making short work of each other, but the Octopod, Trillianus' Octopod, will not last as long as the pair of Octopods from Shaka. The Seppi is trying to deal with Cam to the Reef, but the Reef is just too strong and it will not amount to much, I'm afraid. But it looks like at the same time, Trillianus has actually gone in and built... She's gone in and built an area in it, so it looks like her Reef is now actually going towards that area. She's actually going to try to completely secure it. I guess she wants to set that Reef down to help heal her own units while she assaults. This time through the assault, but I'm not sure how much good it's going to do. I mean, at this point, Shalaka really has excellent map control. He's got he's got eyes everywhere. He knows exactly what's going on. He knows exactly what to expect. Admittedly, he doesn't necessarily know that Sh uh, that Trillianus is going to send a healer in, but he does know that Trillianus does attack. So his Octopod to come in and just deal that much more damage. This Reef won't be able to do anything by the time that lands. The entire army will be dead. So that won't last very long. And it looks like the Sethi in the main base has forced the Arcticus to move away, but it's really not doing too much. Damaging some of the resource processors, but that doesn't help unless they're dead. They're not going to be dead very soon. So at this point, Trillian Eyes is actually managed to get even on pretty even footing against the Octopod. It looks like... Did she manage? No, there's two Octopods, and it looks like... Oh, the Octopod came in because the Faros were not helping out. So at this point, one of the Octopods does die, but still, Trillian Eyes is not going to last that long in this battle. That Octopod is going to be able to do a lot of... Actually, you know what? No. No, it's changed around. Looks like Shalka's actually going to lose lose out of it. He's not... Yeah, he's running along forces, unless he can move some of his... Oh no, okay, he's moving one of the Octopods in, so he will actually be able to hold this off ultimately. The Reef has not... Actually, the Reef has been sent back. It hasn't been set at all. And it's a couple of fire pods being built by Trillian Eyes. Looks like she's not upgrading anything, though. She's not trying to get Chrono Bordering or any other technology, at least not this far in the past. Maybe up here she has? Okay, so it looks like her Reef had moved in, but then now it's not, so... She's going back. She hasn't change anything. She's just sending up these Faropods to help out, deal some extra damage, try to get rid of these Octopods. The Octopods aren't very powerful against air, so it's a really good idea. So at this point, the Faropods are coming, you're going to be able to deal a fair amount of damage, but like I said, she still doesn't have a lot of map control. Shaka knows exactly what's going on, so if she assaults anywhere on the map, he's going to know in advance. And she can't really... Also, if she expands anywhere on the map, he's going to know in advance. So at this point, she is managing to take out part of the north base. I don't know if the Firebots are going to be able to deal enough damage, though, before all the enforcements come up from Shalka. And for all I know, Shalka is pulling Chrono Boarding or doing something else like that to try to get around it. But it looks like... Now, it looks like he's mainly focusing on trying to hold off his attack. He's got... Okay, so the Firebots are now cloaked, but there is a Faro around here. Or something. Maybe there's another cloaked unit. Oh, sorry. Sepipods also detect cloaked units. So the Sepipod here is going to be able to detect the cloaked Firebots and make short work of them. So the Firepod Assault was a Valiant effort, but it hasn't amounted to much. However, the Firepods are... One of the Firepods was sent over to the main base to try to deal with these resource processors. A good idea, because it will mean that Shaka will not have as many resources to fight with, but unfortunately, he's already used those resources to get the units he has, and... Well, not... It's actually a fairly large army relative to what Trillianus has, so... Trillianus is going to have to encounter with more expansions. He has expanded a bit to the center, has a contentious resources, easy to get, but easy to lose. And it looks like she's going up in Sevi Pods to try to get rid of Sevi Pods of Shalka, but Shalka also is a fire pod. Not going to make a huge difference. Two Sevi Pods. Actually, no, the one Sevi Pod now. The other Sevi Pod seems to be still maturing, hasn't sent out. Okay, now the other Sevi Pod sent out. So we have two Sevi Pods going in, Sevi Pod and an Octopod, while the main base is being attacked by fire pods. So Trillianus is doing a great job of expanding out her assault to try to distract Shalka, but I don't know how much it's going to do because Shalka is in a fairly solid position up in the north base. He does have a Progen Triad here, his main Progen Triad. He has lost a lot of his resource processes, though, so he's going to have a slower economy, but he still has a fairly large military. His military has managed, okay, so he's managed to get through Trillianus' attack. Trillianus is going back further, see if she can try to, maybe she's trying to see if she can get through, she, see if she can do something else to fix it, but I don't think she has much of a chance. At this point, it looks like Shalka is going to go for an assault. He's going for an assault now, and he's going to be dealing a fair amount of damage, getting rid of this reef. These firepods need to build fast. I'm sure Trillianus can't have them build fast enough. Chrono is being upgraded in the reef so that if 
If she survives, she can now send a UPP attack and un sorry, an unplayable pass attack. So attacking the unplayable pass make it really hard to counter. Now these fire pods are up, getting rid of the Seppi pod or Seppi and the off pod. And actually, wow, Chilena is doing a really good job maxing up an army here. It looks like, yeah, it looks yes. Yeah, so Shaka is counting this though. He's got fire pods of his own, he's got Seppis of his own. He doesn't have any Seppi pods rather, but then neither is Chilena. So Chilena does have better numbers, however. So as long as she can get around, the only way. The only way Shaw can get out of this is by good tactics, and it doesn't look like he's going to even go for that. He's going to go for his main base, trying to save... Maybe save it? There's really nothing left to save, but he is going to the main base anyway to attack. While in the north, natural, he's going to be attacking as well. And it looks like Trillianus has gone back. She's gone back, done an unplayable pass attack for the Farpaws. The Farpaws are attacking before the army's even there, managing to get rid of his base. So everything you see here is going to be gone as soon as the screen time wave pulls up, and Shaka is not going to have much to deal with. And these Farpaws... Like I said, these Farpaws just go back, get rid of this, so this is what's really happening. Farpaws have completely obliterated the North Base. Trillian has done a great job with that attack, and he's reporting the last second to upgrading that upgrade, because getting her Reef attacked at the same time. So it looks like she's completely obliterated that, completely undone the attack on her Reef that had damage in the first place, and now she's just swooping around the map, trying to get rid of everything. She's queued an entire order stack, got an attack order, so the Farpaws are going to sweep around the whole map and just take care of everything. And so I think Trillionize has it. I don't think so Shalkin will do anything. It looks like he's going to try, though. He has a fairly large army. He doesn't have a as far as I can tell, that his reef is trying to move over, but apparently it's blocked off by these trees. Um, I'm going to keep that in mind when I look at the map again in the future. And he's so he's trying to go for an attack, trying to get rid of what he can. And he has, as you know, a fair assault, but that's not going to amount to much with his time of his, and he doesn't have anything to assault with, ultimately. So unless you can go into the future, research chronoporting, and send units back to fight, he's not going to do anything. Yeah, it looks like Shaka has completely lost it. Kind of a shame, though, that he couldn't get the mound going, or reef going, the chrono boarding upgrade. So yeah, at this point, Shaka pretty much has lost it. He's probably going to see if he can do anything. He still has some units around here. He still has some resources and an octopus he can build. So he's building an octo. He's going to probably try to build a whole progeneration tribe in the bottom right corner and try to get himself up. But Chilena now has control of the map. She's controlled it from quite some time ago now. And it looks like Shaka is... Maybe he's trying to see what he can do. Okay, now he's set his reef down. He's going to try to upgrade chrono porting in a future. He has only until this green time wave comes in. That's not a lot of time. He's going to try to fast forward up the upgrade so he can actually get back. But I don't think it's even enough. Because the problem is that he needs to get back all the way. Yeah, pretty much. Actually, you know what? No, he can't. There's no way for him to win at this point. His, that destruction of his entire base happened in the unplay or the immutable past. He cannot change it. It's a valiant effort on his part, but he can't actually possibly get around that. So... So yeah, Shalka is pretty much out of this game, unless he can get this comeback here, but I'm sure that Chilenaz is looking for it. So Chilenaz will probably end up scouting this out, but as it stands, Shalka's going to try what he can, get what he can from this. But yeah, it's kind of a shame, he can't possibly attack, he's making a really valiant effort to try to get around this, try to get Chrono Board in research, but it's not going to work. Now the time it was going to come and completely wipe everything off the map, so at this point, Shalka really doesn't have anything to work with. He's got the Arcticus and a few units, you're going to probably try to make a first generation try, but no, okay, Trillian Eyes has seen it, so Shalka pretty much has lost, Trillian Eyes has explored, the, uh, re explored enough of the map to see everything that Shalka has, Shalka does not have any chance in this game anymore, it's, so it's really just a question of when he surrenders. And yeah, it looks like Shalka, in his own time, he's going to be watching everything just fall apart around him. So he doesn't really have any chance at this point. Trillian Eyes is continuing to look around, make sure that she's found everything, make sure that he's not trying to come back anywhere, because Brecken is really good at coming back. And at this point, yeah. He's going to a couple of Octopods back to make it a bit even harder to get around. Oh, not that it really made a difference. Shaka had already lost, but now the Octopods are in the past to try to make it even harder. Almost as an insult to injury. So it looks like Shaka. Trying to get around this, trying to do something in the future, but there's nothing he can do. At this point, he's completely stuck. He's lost everything in the past. He's really just a matter of either when he surrenders or when it falls off the timeline, because at this point, he has lost. And I know I keep repeating that. It's just a matter of, like I said, it's just a matter of time. So yes, this is a interesting, a very interesting game between the two, both going for a very good map control strategy and very interesting setup. So, yep, good game. Trillion Eyes wins. Shalka loses. And thanks for watching.